Hey everybody, welcome to the FBARS Chronicles. This is my channel where I walk you through the adventures of two different groups playing through the lost mine of Fandelver. This is the official starting adventure for D&D 5e, very popular. So along with the story, I also try to put in some DM tips and tricks that you might find useful if you are a new DM and are planning to run this adventure. As you can see, a different format here, as opposed to having beautiful paintings flash on the screen while I talk over it, you have this. I was initially reluctant to put this out on the internet, but my friend Megan said that if I'm using other people's paintings and images on my video, I should probably credit them. Of course, she is right. I tried to do that, and oh my god, it's incredibly tough. It is often surprisingly hard to know who painted this in the forest of websites and conflicting credits and claims, so in the end, I decided that this is my property and this is what I can put out on the internet. Previously, on the Lost Mine of Fandelver, both the groups, the Warhamsters and the Red Wedge Pact, in their sessions had just cleared out the western part of the Cragmaw Castle and had taken a short rest. I mentioned in the last video that this short rest drastically changed the rest of the campaign. We had ended the previous session as they were about to take their rests. Here's why. When I was prepping for the next session, I realized that this castle has a doppelganger. A doppelganger is a part of the Black Spider's minions. Uh, the adventure doesn't really do much with this treasure trove. When I read that there's a doppelganger, I was drooling over it. One of the two groups, the Warhamsters, are mostly new players. I wanted to give them a taste of betrayal and a story to tell. I decided that since both the groups had made a lot of noise and then decided to take short rests, I'll let King Grawl and his owlbear run out of a secret door over here. There's no secret door mentioned in the adventure, but we can put in whatever we want. I guess that's a small piece of DM advice. You are not beholden to what the authors have put in the adventure. Remember, the authors don't know what your table is like. They don't know what reactions you're going to get from your players. It's up to you to judge that. And if you have an idea that you think is dramatic and exciting, feel free to change whatever's in the adventure. Anyway, while the heroes were resting, King Grawl loaded a drugged and unconscious Gundren Rockseeker onto his owlbear and escaped. Left in this room was the doppelganger, who now looked like Gundren. Also, DMs beware. You might think that you are so clever that you are going to set up this betrayal and there will be a dramatic reveal and all your players will go, Wow, we did not see that coming! And that may well happen. However, be aware of the fact that it might not. Sometimes, there are players, like my friend Megan. Megan, if you are watching this video, let me tell you, I am so proud of you. We'll talk about that story in another video. My friend Megan is one of the best humans and best D&D players you will ever come across, and there are whole videos worth of stories about her achievements in my games. But back to the Lost Mine of Fandalver. Sometimes players are really insightful and clever and creative. They might suspect a trap like this. If your players are suspicious and trying to check if this is the real Gundren or not, let them do that. Within reason and dice rolls, of course. Don't try to lawyer your way out of the situation. Remember, the players are the stars of the show. Let them feel clever. Let them bask in the glory of having defeated the DM's evil plans. Let them be badass. Don't get stuck to your cool idea of betrayal and reveal. Trust me, the players enjoy catching a betrayal and sneaky plots just as much as they enjoy a dramatic reveal. Let them feel smart. They will love it. I guess that was a long and convoluted reasoning and lecture about the following point. I had not yet decided where King Grawl was going. I knew that I would wait to see how things are turning out and decide whether Grawl goes to either the Red Brand hideout or the Wave Echo Caves. I was also open to the possibility that he might not get anywhere. The players might follow his tracks and kill him on the way and rescue the real Gundren. Anyway, enough of this gay banter. Back to the story. When the players came over to this room, they found the doppelganger disguised as Gundren, and I don't think anyone's really suspected him. They just accepted that this is Gundren and headed back to Phandalin. 
Once the groups made their way back to Fandolin, the stories changed a little. We will be tackling these stories in two separate videos this week. Stay tuned. So all in all, you'll get three videos in this week. Good times. Uh, I might, for the rest of this series, continue to use the uh, previous format where I record my voice and then put other people's paintings on as a video for something to watch. Uh, but going forward, I think that we will be moving away from that situation where it will mostly be this talking to this. Uh, but until next time, that's all, folks.